thought you could get away with this little caper, didn't you, Ziegler Sneak? Well, think again! <laughs> I'm sure the police will find your secret plans very interesting. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Jacob! You made me slip with my eyeliner, you little twerp! What are you doing? I'm testing my idea. My idea! Well, if your idea was to be annoying, then it worked. No. It's my amazing Ronald idea. Tomorrow's go to work with that day, and I'm going to help him write a story. What? We've done the go to work with dad gig, Small Fry. It's brutal. Yeah, not to mention interminable. And perdurable. Diuternal, super temporal, perennial. Hmm. Don't forget sempaternal. What's with all the big words? We spent our day in dad's office reading the dictionary. You had to read the dictionary? We didn't have to, but it was a thrill a minute compared to watching Dad work. Sad but true, kid. Oh, well, at least it's better than going to school. Uh-huh. Wait till tomorrow, Squirt. By 10 o'clock, a week's detention will start to look good. Big day today, Jake. Today I start a brand new Amazing Ronald book. I know, I know. When are we going to start, Dad? We're already there. A writer never knows where he'll find an inspired idea. Could be anywhere from the headlines to the hockey scores. Montreal Marvels have moved into first place in the Northeastern Division. Listen for my live rinkside interview with the players later today. <laughs> Say, I'm not so sure I should have brought you with me to work today, Brittany. You're doing this job better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad. Could you top this up for me, Sport? The dreaded blank page. This is where it all begins, kiddo. The amazing Ronald meets... Hmm. How come you stop, Dad? Well, the title is something that requires careful consideration. And it establishes the theme of the story. I know. How about the amazing Ronald meets Ziegler Sneesh? Shh, 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 shh. An idea is starting to take shape. Hmm. Hmm, 
location, location, location. Huh? The setting for Ronald's next adventure. Where could it be? Has he ever visited the rainforest? That's it. The amazing Ronald meets Amazon Alice. A mysterious figure comes into view through the river mist. It's the amazing Ronald paddling his dugout canoe. Now we're cooking. <laughs> then what happens? Um, uh, he sees something moving up ahead. But it's hard to make out what it is. But one thing's for certain. It's coming his way. <laughs> Yellow beady eyes break the surface of the murky water. I didn't know you could type so fast. I didn't know I could type at all. Come on, Dad. We're on a roll. Keep going. Right, yes. <clears throat> uh, suddenly, Ronald feels a mighty tug on his paddle, and, and, and then the, the boat... Uh... I beg your pardon? Pardon? How do you spell that? Huh? Huh? Hello. Yes, speaking. Forget? No, no, no. Uh, I, of course not. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just about to leave, in fact. Um, uh, uh huh. I, I'll, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Sorry to drag you away like this, Jake, but I have a book signing downtown. Could get a little boring, I'm afraid. That's okay. It couldn't possibly be as boring. I mean, I've seen what you do in your office. Now I should see what else authors do. Say, don't I know that guy? The amazing Ronald. That's cool. Oh, you're huh? here. Well, at least something is going right today. It's a pleasure to meet... <clears throat> I have been on the phone all morning with the publisher. They assured me the new Amazing Ronald meets Persnickety Percy books would be here. And are they here? Hmm? Hmm? No! Hmm, that's quite a predicament. A predicament? Uh, yeah, a broken shoelace is a predicament. A highly publicized book signing with no books to sign is a disaster. A, a catastrophe! And if that is not enough to give me a case of the hives, the actor hired to wear the amazing Ronald costume hasn't shown up yet. This could turn ugly. She should switch to decaf. It's about time you got here. I told your agent, 11.30 a.m. sharp. My agent? Here's your costume. You can change in the washroom out back. But I'm not... Hey, you're going to wear the costume? That's terrific, Jake. I could sure use the help. <laughs> How do you like that? My literary creation and my biological creation together in the same package. You look great, kiddo. Thanks, Dad. You greet the fans at the door and get them warmed up for me. First, my day was really boring. Now it's really embarrassing. <laughs> and I have a feeling it's about to get really painful. Bummer! I don't see a single copy of Wrestling Holds Illustrated. I'm tired of using last month's holds. They're not painful enough. <gasps> ah! Excuse me, excuse me. Whatever. Hey! It's that tutu kid dressed up in some goofy costume. It's not goofy. It's the amazing Ronald. I'm supposed to be meeting my fans. Well, yeah? Well, we're fans too, right, Wilson? Yeah! My favorite is the shrimpy, not amazing tutu twerp meets Wilson the Wedgie Master. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what about shrimpy, not amazing tutu kid meets a big fat tornado? And what about amazing Ronald? Where is he? Now there's a grand entrance. <laughs> nice touch. Why are you not wearing your hypnotizing ring? And where's the pouch that holds your lasso and your night vision goggles? I don't know. This is... I love the <gasps> amazing Ronald meets the yodeling yeti. <laughs> Thanks. Will you do the glacier rescue jump? Please, please, please? 
Well, actually, the thing about a glacier rescue jump is... The amazing Ronald would be more than happy to demonstrate the glacier rescue jump. Yes! Stretch it out as long as you can. We don't want them to turn on us. <laughs> amazing Ronald meets the Peg-Legged Pirates. Chapter 4. How does he know the treasure's on Skull Island? He doesn't see the map until Chapter 7. Uh, the parrot told him? The parrot? The parrot that he doesn't encounter until Chapter 6? Say, have you met the amazing Ronald yet? Looks like he's about to do something exciting over there. He's really got a flair for this. Uh, Dad needs to give Amazing Ronald a helmet. Oh, look, Fowl. They're right here by the door. How convenient. <gasps> what? Oh, the costume. I'm the Amazing Ronald. Oh, <laughs> he's the Amazing Ronald, Fowl. Mm hmm. He's a strong-looking fella, don't you think, Fish? Oh, yes. Uh, muscle to spare, I'd say. Just who we need to help load these boxes. What do you say, Ronald? Could you lend us a hand? Sure, I guess so. <laughs> hey! <laughs> a pleasure working with you, Amazing Ronald. Let's get moving, Fish. They're sure in a hurry. Hey, super guy, don't move. I'll get you to sign for these boxes so as I can... Hey, where's the truck? It just left. What? Oh, I don't believe this. Well, did you see them? Fish and fowl? Yes, I helped them load the boxes. Those were amazing Ronald books. I just delivered them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help, police! My truck's been stolen, and he was in on it. But I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Police officers hear that all the time, boys. Yeah, quit fibbing, La Rogue Rouge. I told you, I'm not La Rogue Rouge. Ha! Everybody knows the amazing Ronald is a good guy. Yeah, only La Rogue Rouge would be dirty enough to pretend he's amazing Ronald. I'm not the Rogue Rouge. He's freaking out. Dad, give me the pepper spray. Hey, I get to use the pepper spray. You got to arrest him. So what? Boys, boys, settle down. There's plenty of fun jobs for both of you. We've got fingerprinting to do, and mug shots to take, and sniffer uh, dogs to... Corporal order, code blue. <laughs> this is Unit 19. We've got a code blue. Code, code blue, code what blue. What happened? Code what blue. happened? Keep an eye on our suspect, boys. We'll be right back. I, I want, want a chocolate, chocolate sprinkle, Dad. <sighs> Gee, go to work with that day just can't get any better. I just hope it doesn't get any worse. <laughs> hey, it's the stolen truck. <laughs> it's going through the drive through You've got to go tell your dad before they get away. Oh, sure. As soon as we go, you'll get away. We don't need x-ray glasses to see through that scheme. Ugh. Then one of you go and the other one stay here. Okay. okay. I'm going. You stay. No way. I'm going. You stay. <sighs> There's no time for this. Best two out of three, bring it on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh no, they're getting away, they're getting away. Stop. Great Scott, the Rogue Rouge has escaped. It's his fault. Come back with those books, you crooks. Come back with those books. Ronald! Hey, could I borrow that? Sure! Thanks! Hey, I've read all your books, man! <gasps> the 
It's the stolen van! Oh, it's the police! Huh, they didn't give us much of a head start. You went down there! You missed it! Safety first, lads. You don't make a quick turn like that holding a large coffee. boys. The Rogue Rouge led us directly to a secret hideaway. And his accomplices. Why should we spend all that time learning the alphabet <laughs> when we can become successful authors the easy way? <laughs> <laughs> Our first book. The Amazing Ronald Meets Persnickety Percy, written by Fish and Fowl. <laughs> written by us. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get away with this. Oh, blasted things gone dead! Oh, must have blew a fuse. Get back to being successful authors! Yeah. Ah, oh, our book! <laughs> Stop! We've caught you rouge-handed. Huh? No, you've got to catch fish and fowl. They're the real crooks. We'll deal with them after we've taken care of the ringleader. There they are! Look behind you! You're not fooling us with that old trick. <laughs> hey! <laughs> They're getting away! He's, He's getting, getting away. away! Where'd they go? Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, officers, but I'm afraid I'll have to throw the book at ya! I guess we owe you an apology. Affirmative. Looks like it's all up to you now. All up to me? Up to me? Sure! I've read all of your amazing adventures to my boys, and no matter how bad things look, you always save the day. You're right. The amazing Ronald always does. Too bad I'm not really amazing. Aw, oh, that's just his good old Canadian modesty talking. And the amazing Ronald meets the phony Pharaoh. He goes up against a legion of mummy zombies and lives to tell the tale. Nothing stops this guy. He's plucky. You're right. I'm not letting Fish and Fowl get away with my dad's books. They picked the wrong day to mess with the amazing Ronald. Starting tomorrow, I'm laying off the donuts. What 
There, that wraps things up quite nicely. Are you okay? I expect I'll feel a lot more uncomfortable when the chief hears about this. Try facing your sons after disgracing yourself on Go to Work with Dad Day. What's taking so long? Yeah, we're bored. Whoa, who are they? Criminal masterminds, Master Fish, and Mistress Fowl. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, officers, for making this undercover operation a success. Undercover operation? Wow! Awesome! Uh, yes, well, we certainly couldn't have captured them without your help, Amazing Ronald. He really is the Amazing Ronald! Is that cool or what? Yeah! We're down to our last book. Our last book. Good thing, too. I'm starting to get writer's cramp. And I have cashier's finger. Well, I must get back to the cash register and punch in more sales. Ta-da! Excuse me, are you fish or fowl, mister? Uh, fish or fowl? It's kind of a long story, Dad. A long story. So Ronald looks down at the pair of sneaky crooks and he says, boy, are you guys ever going to get it? Then he jumps off the ledge and swoops down on them like a hawk and plasters them both with sticky tape. <laughs> I like that. Sounds just like the kind of whimsical stunt the amazing Ronald would really do. Oh, he would. I know it. I know it. Spoken with the confidence that can only come from someone who's walked a mile in his costume. Seemed more like 40 kilometers to me. <laughs> And when the amazing Ronald meets the bungling book bandits, hits the shelves, we'll do it all again. Really? Sure. A writer never knows where he'll find an inspired idea. And today, you found it for me. <laughs> <laughs>